Hello everyone. Welcome to this session. I am going to discuss in this session the thermodynamics problem that is numerical on first law of thermodynamics. The problem is that a piston and cylinder machine contains a fluid system which passes through a complete cycle of four processes. During a cycle the sum of all heat transfers is minus 170 kilojoule. The system completes 100 cycles per minute. Complete the following table showing the method for each item and compute the net rate of work output in kilowatt. Here the system consists of a piston and cylinder and it completes a one cycle including the four processes and these processes are mentioned here a b b c c d and d a in these processes the whatever the values are there the rate of heat transfer work transfer and change in internal energy those are given and some values are not known and those should be computed and later we have to add to this table to complete it and for that the first whatever the process is there a b there the rate of heat transfer is 0 and work transfer is 2170 kilojoule per minute and change in internal energy we need to determine and process b c the rate of heat transfer is 21000 kilojoule per minute and the work transfer we need to find out and internal change in internal energy also we need to find out and cd process here uh, the rate of heat transfer is minus 2100 and work transfer we need to find out and change in internal energy is given minus 36600 and for da process all the there is a rate of heat transfer work transfer and change in internal energy we need to find out and also here it is given that is net heat that is heat transfer the sum of all the heat transfer is equal to minus 170 kilojoule it is given okay that is for all the heat transfers for all the processes we on we are going to get the minus 170 kilojoule per minute okay with consideration of this one for each process by using the first law of the thermodynamics we need to find out the other values we know that one the first law of the thermodynamics gives that the rate of heat transfer is equal to the change in internal energy plus of work transfer that we know from the first law of the thermodynamics and for the process AB we know that one the rate of heat transfer is zero it's given and change in internal energy we need to find out and work transfer is given 2170 and from this by calculation we will get the change in internal energy delta E is equal to minus 2170 kilojoule per minute. Then process PC again we will apply the first law of thermodynamics Q is equal to delta E plus W and for that here it is given that is rate of heat transfer 21000 and delta E we need to find out plus the work transfer is given 0 in this one or transfer 0 therefore here the change in internal energy is equal to the change in internal energy here in the process BC here the combustion is taking place therefore the change in internal energy is heat tran work transfer is given 0 therefore the delta E is equal to 21000 kilojoule per minute process CD again we apply the first law of thermodynamics Q is equal to delta E plus W the Q is minus 2100 it is given and delta E is also given minus 36600 and W we need to find out after calculation we will get the W is equal to 34500 kilojoule per minute and for process DA that is in the DA all the heat transfer we need to take there is a completion of the cycles and for that the cyclic completion the summation of heat transfer in the DA process it is there that will be minus 170 kilojoule the summation of the heat transfer is taken for the end of the cycle and that is for the process D2A that is given minus 170 kilojoule per 
solution it is given. Then next we will apply the again the calculation for the other values. Here the first the system completes 100 cycles per minute and whatever the summation of heat transfer it is given minus 170 kilojoule okay for the 100 cycle 170 into 100 that is minus 17,000 kilojoule per minute summation of the heat transfer for 100 cycles it will becomes okay that is cycles per minute it will be there and summation of the heat transfer what are there the QAB plus QBC plus QCD plus QDA what are the known values are there if you add the QAB is given 0 QBC we computed 21,000 it is given minus 2,100 it is also given QDA we need to find out ok and that is equal to totally uh, the minus, minus 170 uh, uh, 17,000 or minus uh, seven, one, uh, 17,000 it is given ok what is there for the 100 cycles we have taken after the calculation QDA we can get from this one as a minus 35,900 kilojoule per minute. Okay, this is computing of the QDA and last process all the values as the rate of heat transfer as well as the uh, work transfer and change in internal energy all three are not given and we are finding from this process okay all the three the first one the QDA we, need, we have determined. Next we apply that is that is cyclic integral of change in internal energy cyclic integral of internal energy equal to zero since internal energy is a property of a system and cyclic integral of the any property is equal to zero and here cyclic integral of any property is zero means internal energy is also equal to zero if you apply that one the summation of all the internal energy will be equal to zero delta EAB plus of delta EBC plus of delta ECD plus of delta ED DA equal to 0. If you substitute in all the values what we have determined previously that is minus 2170 for AB process, 21000 for BC process plus 36600 for CD process and delta EDA we need to find out. <coughs> After calculation of the all these things, we are going to get the delta DA is equal to 17,770 kilojoule per minute. Lastly, we'll, from again we will apply the first law of thermodynamics. QDA equal to delta ED, EDA plus of W. Therefore, W we need to find out. Therefore, that is equal to QDA minus of delta EDA. And we know these values. QDA we know minus 35,900 and delta EDA we know 17,770 ok then if you come calculating these two we are going to get the minus 53,670 from four processes each values what we don't know that one we have determined previously applying separately first law of thermodynamics for each process and applying that is the total sum of the heat transfer as well as the cyclic integral of the property there is a cyclic integral of internal energy we determined heat transfer and internal energy and we determined work uh, done by using the first law of thermodynamics once again and after this determination of from the previous process okay we could complete this uh, whatever the table is given okay from the table okay these values what we have determined this we have taken okay for the bc what are the values we got that we have added and cd also the process values are taken from the previous calculations and d also all the values are not known here we determined and we have substituted and now we have completed the table okay what is given for the all the pro processes now we need to find out the network output okay then we know here the rate of work output summation of uh, to find that one we know that is summation of heat transfer per cycle is equal to summation of work tra transfer per cycle okay that is there for the cyclic process and here summation of cycle a uh, heat transfer per cycle we know already for the 100 cycles 
माइनस सेवनटीन थाउजेंड किलो जूल पर मिनट दिस वी कैन फाइंड आउट इन कन्वर्ट इन टर्म्स ऑफ किलो वैट दैट इज बाई सिक्सटी इफ यू डू दैट वन वी आर गोइंग टू गेट इन टर्म्स ऑफ द किलो वैट दैट इज द जूल पर सेकेंड इज द वैट ओके देर फोर इफ यू डिवाइड विथ ए सिक्सटी देन वी आर गोइंग टू गेट किलो जूल पर सेकेंड देन दैट विल बी जूल पर सेकेंड विल बी वैट देन इट विल बिकम से किलो वैट दैट इज आफ्टर कैलकुलेशन वी आर गोइंग टू गेट दिस वन एज ए माइनस टू एटी थ्री पॉइंट थ्री किलो वैट ओके दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम फॉर ए न्यूमेरिकल विच इज फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट लॉ ऑफ थर्मोनोमिक्स वेयर वी हैव अप्लाइड द फर्स्ट लॉ ऑफ थर्मोनोमिक्स फॉर डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ द ऑल द हीट ट्रांसफर इंटरनल एनर्जी एंड द वर्क ट्रांसफर थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग इफ यू लाइक शेयर सब्सक्राइब एंड कमेंट